it is August 28th. Last weekend marked exactly two and a half years since I joined the army. It's quite a long time. During this period I found many new friends and lost many old ones to death or disappearance. During this time my parents became refugees, my brother turned into a traitor and I started and almost gave up on making a podcast. I've been on many fronts hit from shelling in Bakhmut and saw the Russians fleeing from Kharkiv. So much has happened, so many people have died in these two years, so much pain and blood. I've also seen how the rhetoric of Kremlin agents in the West has changed. At first they claimed that helping Ukraine was pointless, that it wouldn't last even a couple of weeks and that the Russians would quickly seize the entire country. Then they screamed about Nazis, about terrible oppression of Russian-speaking Ukrainians that Putin was supposedly rescuing. Later, when it became obvious that the regions suffering the most destruction and deaths were wars with large Russian-speaking populations, these creatures started scaring the world with the threat of nuclear war if Putin began to lose. Now they have a new narrative. I constantly see Americans and Europeans saying things like not a cent of aid to Ukraine as long as our country has homeless veterans. This is not just nonsense, it's a crime. If the citizens of three countries stop helping Ukraine, you will all turn into homeless veterans. Your children, your elderly parents, your friends and your loved ones. If Ukraine falls, you will all either be dead or homeless veterans. And you will consider yourself lucky if you become homeless veterans of your own national armies that have defended their independence at the cost of completely destroyed cities and enormous human losses. Because there is a high chance that you will become homeless veterans of the fascist Russian army. It is forming entire brigades of people from occupied territories. It does not care about the motivation or loyalty of such soldiers. They are expendable. Most people driven into these brigades spend a couple of weeks on the front lines. Then they either die or are severely wounded and remain disabled homeless veterans for life. And you will be among them if Ukraine does not stand. Putin will need a lot of cannon fodder for world domination. And he's delighted when another fool writes, not a cent for Ukraine, because that fool is his potential soldier. Help Ukraine. Two and a half years of war is very long and very difficult, but we are holding on. And you should too. Believe me, it's much, much harder for us here.